So at the end of the consolation final, we move on to the grand final, the last of the action here tonight. And it's Adam Ragger versus Tony Bow, the two riders that have gone head to head so many times through the years, and the two riders that you would have expected to end up at this phase of the competition. But who is in the physical shape to win this one? Because Tony Bow took a really nasty fall in section number four of round number two. And it remains to be seen whether Bo is at full fitness to be able to tackle these sections. Adam Ragger has had no such dramas. And Bo perhaps uh, working a little bit harder than he needed to in section four of round two. May have put his success in doubt in this grand final. He's certainly doing a lot of stretches. He did return to the sections with two cleans in the last two of round two. So there is still hope of seeing Tony Bow at his absolute best, and that's what the fans in Barcelona have come for. So many times they've seen him to victory over the years. As for the sections for the final, it's back to six, the customary number. We've got uh, one section that's broadly the same as round number one uh, to kick us off. And then we've got familiar sections two and three that are in the same direction as round one as well. New direction for sections four and five. And then an extra step in section six. Adam Ragger then tackles grand final. First rider out here for section number one. One minute is the time on the clock. For each of these six sections, real moments of tension. Every single error could prove costly. That's one. Single mark for leading. This section in round number two. Ragger dropped a single mark and Tony Bow as well. That's a second mark for Adam Ragger as he makes his way down. Final step to go. Two marks for Ragger so far. Difficult to tell how this is going to stack down against Tony Bow. And Adam Ragger is out of section one with two marks. Tony Bow is next to come. Tony Bow really loves this X trial. Uh, very much his egg trial. He spoke to me previously about, yes, titles is the first priority. He'll play the percentages game if he needs to. And the one he's desperate to win is egg trial Barcelona. His home event, the one he's dominated since making his debut. 12 appearances here, 11 victories. He's beaten for the last 10 editions of Extra Barcelona is Tony Bell. The championship leader following the opening round. He could double his championship lead over Adam Ragger if he beats him in the grand final here tonight. Section number one then, Ragger on two. Bo, if he does better than that, will lead with five sections remaining. 32, the 12 times. First step made successful. Configurations do change slightly with each passing round, as we said uh, earlier on here tonight. Areas of sections that riders are obliged to touch, and down goes Tony Bow for a five in section one. What a disastrous start for him. Shakes his head, he knows, knows he's made his lap more difficult from here on in. And a ragger leads it by three marks after section one. And we're going to see it again. Adam Ragger made it through there with two drop marks. Tony Bow with five. And Adam Ragger, who uh, gave Tony Bow a couple of scares in Budapest, once again leads after the opening section, just as he did in the Hungarian capital. Ended up runner up. Had a bit of a uh, scare or a wobble in the second round and. Uh, Recovered well to make it to the final, but then was defeated by four marks in that final. Leads by three here in Barcelona. He hasn't won extra Barcelona since 2008 when he beat Tony Bow. He was the runner up here in 2018. Can he go one better in 2019 and level things at the top of the championship standings? First step achieved, a single mark dropped. Raga still leads overall. down onto the arena floor, as I said previously. Slightly different configurations for the grand final. Dropping down to the floor, there was a gasp of breath from the fans here in the Palau San Jordi, who uh, hadn't quite cottoned on to the fact that actually dropping down was part of the section for uh, the grand final. 
Braga still in there with just that one mark. Big step here, though. First block achieved, front wheel catches and down goes Braga to a five. Tony Berg with an opportunity then to recover from his section one error. Leads by two. Braga with a section in hand. Because Bo's still got to do this section too. And look at him standing at the base of that step. Preparing for his own assault on it. Wrestles the bike. Tony Moore, failure in section one. Surely he won't start the lap with two consecutive failures. That hasn't happened very often in a grand final for Tony Bo. The interesting uh, notes on a postcard. If you can remember the last time that Tony Bo started a grand final with two failures. Will we see it here tonight? Section number two. Adam Rago on seven, Tony Bo on five. Bo's got to negotiate section two that Raga's just failed. Couldn't get the front wheel up high enough. Caught it on the block and down he went. Tony Bo looking to go one better. He's got himself behind Raga after the opening section now has work to do. Winner of 12 of his last 14 in trial appearances. The other he's injured. I wonder whether he's picked up a bit of a knock with his crash earlier on here tonight. He clearly isn't thinking about that too much at the moment. He's up clean on that first step. Good work. Raga had already uh, made hard work of that first step. Bo made it look light. What can he do here? The crowd with their traditional chant. Tony. They're willing him forward. And forward he goes. Up goes Tony Bo. Mission impossible. Adam Raga failed in section number two. And Tony Bo is clean. Incredible performance from the master. The reigning champion, and that's why. Adam Raga laboured in section two to a five. Tony Bo is where he wants to be. He's back in front. Made hard work of it though early in this grand final with a failure in section number one. Things far from over just yet. Four sections remain. Only two marks separating the big two. The all-time big two. Riders with 16 extra world championships between them, Tony Bo and Adam Raga. Raga was the dominant force before uh, Tony Bo arrived on the scene. Adam Ragger then, about to embark on section number three. First step made. Minutes for this section. Section number three, another one that's uh, familiar, very similar to uh, section two round number one, but with an added step. Remember that in round one they went around the base of that uh, totem. Here they go, over the top of it always adding an extra level of difficulty with each passing round of competition and now we're in the final the toughest sections and the toughest men tony bow with five marks adam ragger with seven more than halfway through this section number three ragger knows that any errors will be severely punished because he's up against the greatest of all time less than 20 seconds on the clock bow watching on that, that must be intimidating but not for adam ragger Steely focus here, clean in section number three, his first clean of the lap. Adam Braga remains on seven from three, punches the air, he's happy with that. Halfway through the lap, Adam Braga's on seven, three sections remaining for him. Tony Bow with two sections completed. His assistant there just sweeping the floor, making sure that the ground that Tony Bow walks upon is perfect. It's all about Tony Bo getting maximum traction at the start of the section for that uh, first step. Hasn't posed any of the riders two great problems that uh, first step. Remember that uh, first step was tackled uh, earlier on here tonight and uh, no great difficulties it posed to the top performers at that stage of the competition either. Section three, Bo looking to match Raga here who was clean. Step by step, he's told by his assistant. That's the first step. And, uh, one mark has been awarded for it. So, Tony Bow is now on to six, and there's just one mark between the big two here tonight. The neutrals will be saying another drop mark here will set us up very nicely for the remaining three. Bo leads by one for the moment. Plenty of time. Time's not the biggest issue in this section. Mixture of some really long sections in there tonight that uh, cost riders a lot of time earlier on this evening. 
Tony Vo. Less than half the time remaining. Looking comfortable in that regard, though. Looking comfortable in all regards now in this section. After slipping that early mark away, he's going to move on to six unless he makes any further errors late on here. Only ten seconds to go. He's got a rush. Oh, Tony Vo! Forward off the machine and down he goes. And it's a five. It's a fiasco for Bo. Disaster for Tony Bo in section number three, and now he certainly looks worse for wear. If he hadn't picked up an injury early on, again he reaches for his back, where he had that fall in section four earlier on tonight. He was obviously separated from the bike, but by the time he passed the gate, yes he was. And that is why, despite the fact that the back wheel actually goes over the line, the front wheel never does, and Bo's not in connection with the machine. Two fiascos in the first three sections. Adam Ragger leads us by three. Three sections remaining. Is Tony Vo's condition like? He's off. Uh, trying to straighten the uh, front wheel uh, up against one of the modules. I wonder whether he wants to stick with his number one bike or whether he's going to risk it with a swapped machine. At the moment, he's staying where he is with his number one bike, but uh, it can't be ideal if a rider's bashing the front wheel up against a section to try and straighten it. It's the old technique. We've seen it many times before in many motorcycle sports, but uh, when you have the option to change the machine, as Bo does, perhaps a surprise he hasn't taken it. More comfortable on his number one choice of bike. Adam Ragger then, into section number four. Three marks he leads by, the tension mounting. It was close in Budapest, it's close here in Barcelona as well. Plenty of great action still to come in 2019. Adam Raga, a real force of will to get the bike up. Of course, he landed on the sump at the top, but there was a moment where I thought he might teeter backwards. He saved it well. Single mark to his name, Adam Raga. And he leads, and he will still lead at the end of section number four. It's up to Tony Vo to try and peg back a mark here, and the confidence is growing with Adam Ragger, you can feel it. He punches the air again. One failed section in four so far, Bo with two in three. Bo hasn't been beaten in Barcelona for a decade, could tonight be the night? Eight marks for Adam Ragger, ten for Tony Bo. Three sections for Bo to ride, he can do with a clean here. He can't get it. He too drops a mark at the top of that step. Just like Adam Ragger before him, won't want to drop any more marks now. Even if he was to drop to a failure, the extra wouldn't be decided just yet. We're going down at least to the penultimate section. Tony Bow has dropped one mark so far in section number four. It's been erratic in the grand final for him, but he makes it out of section four. He's on 11, three marks. The gap that was between the riders at the end of section one, the gap between the riders at the end of section number three, will take them into section five. Three, Raga eight, Bo 11, two sections to come. Well, if the tension wasn't already at its absolute maximum, it certainly is now. Section number five, and a new direction for these riders, effectively a new course. Bo is already having a little gander at section number six. I'm sure that he'll be thinking strategy. What does he need to do in this section better than Raga to give himself a shot at victory? Now he's going to watch on. Can he put pressure on his rival? Raga's the first rider out through the section, so he breaks ground. Bo has the opportunity to learn from him, therefore watches on. Eight for Raga, 11 for Bo. Exciting stuff here in Barcelona. The fans will be loving this. They're experts in X-Trial. The actual base of X-Trial is here. The experts of the sport are here. The manufacturers are here. The crowd is here. And so are Adam Raga and Tony Bo for this grand final. Raga into section five. These will be nervous moments for him. He knows, even if Tony Bo is looking a little bit ragged, that the slightest error Bo will always pounce upon it to take victory. He loves this extra Barcelona. It's traditionally been the toughest on the calendar. 
And that has been where Bo has always excelled, but he's made a couple of mistakes so far tonight. And Raga has been faultless so far through this one section. Number five, and Anna Raga, with a super performance so far in this grand final, is taking the fight to Tony Bo in the 2019 World Championship. Raga on eight from five. Bowen 11 from four, still has to undertake this section five and the X trial could be decided here. We want a grandstand finish, literally, here in Barcelona. Section number five then, Tony Bow with 11. The maximum total that Raga could finish on now would be 13. So if Bo were to drop three marks here, Raga would have already won X trial Barcelona. We want a last section decider. Tony Bow is the man under pressure here. Raga already with two cleans. This could be Bow's second if he can manage it. And he needs to. To keep himself in with a shot. You from the ground. Bow, workmanlike so far in section five. This one, somewhat more straightforward. The flashes and lights from phones around the arena are starting to pick up now. The crowd knows this is the moment. 30 seconds remaining. No, no, Bo is through. Takes the extra trial to a last section decider. With a clean in section number five. Has the damage been done in those sections one and three? We're about to find out in section six. It's going to take a big performance here from Tony Bo to wrestle back control of this event. And Raga has the event in his hands. Could win it himself. Leaving Bo unable to do anything in section six. Three marks is the gap. If Raga scores two marks at maximum here, he's won extra Barcelona. 105 podiums. This will be his 106th. But will it be a 38th win for the 36-year-old Adam Raga? And could he take the fight to Tony Bow in the context of the World Championship? Still four rounds to come after this one, of course. And boy, oh boy, are we looking forward to them after tonight's action. It's been splendid once again. Budapest was competitive. Barcelona has been ultra competitive and it's not hyperbole. Raga is asking for the support of the crowd and he gets it. Fair-minded support here. The neutrals love an underdog and anyone other than Tony Bo has to be considered an underdog. But not coming into this section six. Raga is up. First step. Three marks the gap. Different uh, element for the grand final. The riders are obliged to drop down to the base of the skip. There's a sticker in there reminding the riders. Now Raga's got to try and get out of the skip. That's going to be harder than dropping down into it. Will he use the ridge on the corner of that skip to fire himself up and onto the top of the cylinder? Two marks and he can breathe easy, he's won. That's one. Crowd cheers that though. Raga looking good here. Down to the side he goes. This is the second change for the grand final. Extra step that I talked about when I did the section analysis at the start of this grand final. Big step for Raga to make it up. It's going to be hard to do this without leaning. But if he can take one mark and then get to the end of it. Here we go. And down goes Adam Raga. It's a five in section number six. And the extra trial is back in Tony Bo's hands. It's going down to the wire. And Bo in front of his home crowd has an opportunity to steal the limelight once again. Raga has led most of this grand final, but he doesn't lead now. Five mark score, only his second failure of the lap. Minder catching the front wheel. Raga shakes his head. He was that close to victory in front of his home crowd. Can Tony Bo make it up that step? Section number six. Failure in one, failure in three. Will it be a failure in six? 13 marks out of Raga's total. Bo is on 11. Maximum of two marks to tie it. Ooh, wouldn't we like a tiebreaker? Am I being greedy? Two marks would put Bo on 13. One mark and Bo would win. Clean and Bo would win. With some uh, margin, which you wouldn't have expected. Here we go then. Is it time for a Tony Bo show? Section six of this grand final. One minute. Versus Tony Bo. Traditional chant, you might be able to hear it. One mark already dropped for Tony, but he tried so hard not to drop a mark there. He knew he might need it for later in the lap, this big step. Now, if he takes one mark for lead, that would be okay. He would tie with Raga. He can't afford more than one mark. Watch for the section observer as well. 
bow at the bottom, it's going to be a big stick. One mark max to play with, one already on the board. Here he comes, he's up. Tony Bowe has done it! Brilliant, he's got to stay clean to the end of the section, he's on two now. 13, a tie between the big two. He can't afford any errors though, seven seconds remaining, he's got a rush. Pressure is on! And Tony Bowe is out of the section! Incredible scenes here in Barcelona! Fever pitch! It's a tie on 13 apiece! Sensational X trial! This is going to go down as one of the all time great grand finals. It really is. I said earlier on, it's not hyperbole. This has been a brilliant event. And now Tony Bowe's going down to ask, now what? 13 marks apiece. And in the grand final, that means a tie break. I don't think uh, we've ever seen one of these in the modern era. It's an extra section, and it's on time. Now, uh, we're going to see again images of Tony Bow making it up that step. That was incredible. He's the man for big steps. The minder is there with his hands. Do I catch him? Do I catch him? No, you don't. Tony Bow is up. Absolutely incredible. And 13 apiece. Unlucky for some, but not for Tony Bow at the end of section six. He'll be relieved. He almost threw it away twice tonight. Now, what is the tiebreak section? I've never needed it before. Away from the two riders, Adam Bragger is celebrating. I've just seen the graphic change on the screen. Tony Bow has been given three marks for that final section and Adam Raga will therefore win Extra Barcelona for the first time since 2008 and will tie the standings at the top of the championship. Bo might feel disappointed about that. He worked hard to get back into the event in section number six. But in the end, the section observer has found against him at the last. I thought Bo was up there. I thought we had a tie. But it's Adam Ragger. Wow. That is going to be one that will be remembered for a long time, especially by Adam Ragger. His 38th career victory. He's come into Tony Bowe's back garden, his own back garden, admittedly, as well. And he's nicked a sixth victory of Extra Barcelona. The only rider still to have beaten Tony Bowe. And now for a second time. First victory since 2008 at X Trial Barcelona to level the championship standings at the top. Adam Ragger, your winner here tonight. Adam, congratulations. A really, really hard and tough uh, X Trial. Yes, yeah, very hard, and I am very, very happy because to win is very important, and this victory gives me many, many power. Great feeling to win here in front of your home crowd. Yes, yeah, very good, and. Especially starting the sections at the first, at the final, is very difficult, it's always a handicap. So I'm very, very happy with this victory, six now in Barcelona. Congratulations. Thank you. So Adam Rag is a man for his statistics as well. He knows that that's his sixth victory here at x -Trial Barcelona. And with it, he takes the fight to Tony Bow at the top of the championship standings. It does not get any closer than that. Adam Raga gets it but by the slenderest of margins over Tony Bow. Consolation final, also a slender margin, just one mark in it, Busto and Fajardo. Wow, it's breathless times this, after an incredibly close finish between Adam Raga and uh, Tony Bow there at the end of section number six, and that confirms the championship standings. Raga officially is your leader because of the highest score in the most recent round. Tony Bow and he tied on 35 points apiece. Separate fight tied also for third position between Busto and Fajardo, as I said earlier on. And then daylight appearing between the rest of the pack being Kaz on 12. Jorge Casales, six. Fujinami with five. Remains to be seen who we will see next time out as event riders for round number three of this championship. Jeroni Fajardo's place is secure. He's guaranteed himself qualification. And here we're going to see it again. Best moments of this grand final. And boy, was it one to savor. Five mark score for Tony Bow in section number one. Five mark score for Tony Bow in section number three. That's where Adam Raga has won this X trial because in section one he scored two. In section three he was clean. He was three marks up after section three. The gap was eaten away in section six. 
but sections four and five, Braga held his nerve. Though with this spectacular crash, in the end, that is what has cost him this X trial. And it was a similar situation actually in Budapest, it must be said. A couple of errors from Tony Bowe. He got away with it there. He hasn't got away with it here tonight. And our championship fight continues on in our Iberian tour with the next two rounds also taking place in Spain, Bilbao and Granada. And I just can't wait to see that. Here we see Adam Braga's failure in section number six that moved him on to 13 marks. That gave Tony Bowe an opportunity. But in the end, it's not enough. And celebrations and extra Barcelona for 2019 belong to Adam Braga. Time for the podium celebrations then. Small margins between the top performers once again. And it might not be too long before that man who Tony Bo commiserates with, Jaime Busto, is challenging those top two as well. Bo again, tagging at his back. Is that just for the sake of comfort? Or is he sore after that crash? Wouldn't surprise me. It was a heavy one earlier on. Onto a back that he already injured last season, remember. Missed the round because of it. Fought back well, took the championship. Returns in 2019, he's had a couple of injury nibbles during the uh, summer break from X-Trial. He's returned here tonight, he is still on the podium, Tony Bow, But uh, he's defeated the previous record of 28 consecutive victories that Tony Bow had. He's not able to uh, get his uh, run of consecutive victories back up and running. But his focus now will be the championship for 2019 as he steps up onto the podium to receive the applause of the crowd for taking second place. Be understandable if there's not much of a smile, there very rarely is when Tony Bo takes anything other than first position. Jaime Busto taking third place here tonight, beating Jeroni Fajardo in the consolation final by a mark to get revenge from round number one in Budapest. But the man that everyone will be talking about tonight, talk of the town, Adam Raga, makes it onto the top step of the podium. He ties at the top of the championship with Tony Bowe, 35 points apiece. Four rounds still to come. Bilbao, Granada, Marseille, Andorra. And who would bet against the championship going down to a last round decider now in the Principality? And that would be one to save him. Plenty of action still to come in 2019. Remember, every rider drops their worst round. No one's out of contention just yet. Although we wait to see who the nominated riders will be for next time out in Bilbao. Prizes being awarded here this evening. Jaime Busto picks up his unique X trophy. As a podium finisher here tonight, third position for Busto. Spanish Federation president awarding second place trophy to Tony Bo. It's a smile, but it's not a big one. He won't have been pleased to see Adam Braga level the scoring after the opening two rounds of the season. 35 championship points apiece. Adam Braga then taking the top step tonight and therefore the biggest trophy as well. Big moment for Raga in front of his home crowd. You can see how much that means to him. His 38th career victory. But any victory against Tony Bo is a big one. And I'm quite sure that's exactly the mood he'll be feeling. One of celebration. It's party time outside the Palau San Jordi tonight. For Adam Raga, not quite so much back for Tony Bo. Jaime Busto will be content in the end with third position. A bit of redemption after his disappointment in Budapest. But he wasn't quite able to match the big two. They've been the big two for 16 years. Looks as though they're going to be the big two for a 17th year. Bo versus Raga. The rivalry will be resumed in Bilbao. And the two will go into the third round of this 2019 season. Level on points, 35 apiece. Bo the winner at round number one with Raga runner-up in the grand final. And at round number two here in Barcelona, Adam Raga the victor in the Palau San Jordi for the first time since 2008. And gains back the five championship points lost in the Hungarian capital, in the Catalan capital. And the Cathedral of X-Trial has seen a spectacular event here tonight. There's no doubt about that. A single mark. In the end, proving critical. Nothing to choose between the two as the champagne flows. And it's Adam Raga who makes it to the top step of the podium here tonight. A moment to savour for him. Some uh, bubbly to savour for him as well, I'm sure. A moment for...
the photographers to enjoy as well as Adam Ragga, but you'll never see as big a smile as that on the face of Adam Ragga, who's done what many consider impossible, beating Tony Bow. Ragga's the only one who seems to be able to hold a candle to him for now. Bow was pretty much unbeatable last season, barring injury. This season, he's been beaten on level terms by Adam Ragga. Mistakes from Bow in sections one and three, moving Bow on to 10 marks from three. Ragga on seven marks from three. The first half of the lap proving critical. Bo unable to make back the deficit in the second half of the lap is defeated by Adam Ragga. We head to the third round of this championship with deadlock at the top. Not much to choose between the riders in head-to-head -head conflict, either in Barcelona or in Budapest. Five marks covering the two riders over two grand finals this season. Bo undefeated in the opening phases of competition all campaign. That's the first time he's been beaten in any stage of competition this season. It's when it mattered most. Adam Ragger finding his absolute best performance here at Extral Barcelona to take the spoils in the capital of Catalonia and to take the fight to Tony Bo ahead of round three as the Tour of Spain continues next time out. Bilbao and Granada still to come before we head to Marseille and Andorra. 2019 Extral World Championship is well and truly alive and it's been brought alive tonight by Adam Ragger, the winner of X-Trial Barcelona in 2019.